Guten Morgen, es sind dann der Prof von Luxemburgisch with Anne. Now in this lesson I will talk about a small but very, very, very important Luxemburgish word. An. Now an is causing some headache to all of my students. And why? Well, an has not only several meanings, but as well several functions in one sentence. So you are likely to hear or to read a three or even four an in one single sentence. For example, Ich fuhren an enger Stunde an die Stadt und dann wollen ich den Zug für an die Schweiz. Wow, here you have four an in one single sentence. But now let's explain all these different meanings and functions of an. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Dann lass! Let's start with an as a conjunction. An as a conjunction translates into English by and. Okay, so a conjunction combines two things together. And when you use an in the meaning of and, the word order does not change. Beispiele, examples. Meng fra an euch fuhren de weekend op Paris. So my wife and I is meng fra an euch. And then you put your verb. Meng fra an euch fuhren de weekend op Paris. Or, um, euch hun een hond, a meng schwester huert ein kaat. So you see, after an, you put your subject, meng schwester, and then your verb. So it's the normal sentence construction. Euch hun een hond, a meng schwester huert ein kaat. Another example. Die Sohn war gut abelisch. Die Sohn war gut abelisch. I have two remarks. Now, an is a word ending with an. So it is subject to the an rule. And then you will often hear instead of an, a. And pronounce it a. And not a or a. Okay? A. Example, dir se war gut abelisch or a schönen Hund, a mein Schwester wird ein Katz. And then the other remark is, I told you before that when you use an as a conjunction meaning and, the word order does not change. But when you say an dann, so dann is an adverb. So when you add after an an adverb such as dann or or du no, an du no, then you have to put your verb followed by the subject. For example, ich fuhren an enger Stunde an Stadt, an dann holen ich. So you have to say an dann holen ich and not an dann ich hole. Okay, be careful. Let's see now the meaning and the function of an as a locative preposition. Now, an is a two-way preposition. This means that, that an can either take the accusative or the dative case. Let's start with an with the dative case. Then it means either at or in. And it takes the dative case when you are uh, at a place, when you are at a location. So it means a position using verbs like sin, Wunnen, schaffen, hun. Beispiele, examples. Men kanna sie bis feierauer an der Schul. So here the, the children are at school. Sie sind bis feierauer an der Schul. Or um, de Schlüssel as a menger posch. De Schlüssel as a menger posch. So the key is in my bag. It's a position. Okay, or um, meng älteren sin an der Vakanz. Meng älteren sin an der Vakanz. 
Ich schaffe an enger Abdikt. Ich schaffe an enger Abdikt. Now be careful. In the dative case, you will as well hear sometimes am um, instead of an. Um. Whenever the place or the location is masculine or neuter, you will have to use am. Um. Am um is the short form of an dem. Dem is the dative form of the masculine and neuter article. So instead of saying ich sin an dem Supermarché, we say in Luxembourg ich sin am Supermarché. Easy. Or um, it's in Haut viel Leid am Park. Or um, that steht am Buch. That steht am Buch. Now let's see um, an in the accusative case. Now an takes the accusative case when you move towards a place or a location or when you put or place something somewhere else using verbs like gohen, fuhren, stellen, lehen. And then it has the meaning of to or in to. Okay, for example, uh, Menkana gin um Erdauer an Chol. Menkana gin um Erdauer an Chol. Mir fuhren next woch an Italien. Mir fuhren next woch an Italien. Stellt Möllisch an de Frigo. Now, stell is the verb stellen. So, stellen is um, a verb conveying the idea of a movement. Huh? It's stellen, to put, to place something somewhere else. Therefore, you have to say, stellt mölisch an de frigo. Stellt mölisch an de frigo. Great. Now, let's have a look at the last function and meaning of an. Now, an can as well be used as a temporal preposition where a period of time is implicit so then an means in for example to say in one hour you say in luxembourgish an enger stun why do you say an enger stun well in that case an takes always the dative case when it is used as a temporal preposition let's have an example um, ich komme an enger Stunde zurück. Ich komme an enger Stunde zurück. Um, ein anderes Beispiel, another example. Was möchtest du am Sommer? Was möchtest du am Sommer? Oh, wir plündern an engem Mond. Wir plündern an engem Mond ob Mama. Okay? Let's finish this lesson with some useful expressions with the word an. Let's start with an engem stick. Now listen and repeat after me. An engem stick. Great. Um, hat schwätzt an engem stick. Hat schwätzt an engem stick. Or an engems. An engems. You will often hear native speakers say that geht an engems. Or a gedanke sin, a gedanke sin. And the last one, no an no. No an no. No an no lehren ösch lützebäuersch. Great. To practice all what you have learned today, I highly recommend that you head over to my blog where I have added um, under this lesson a PDF copy. So you can download this PDF copy and there is an exercise übung. So just to practice what you have learned today so that it sticks in your mind. And uh, why not becoming a member of Luxembourgishwizen.lu? Because when you are a member, you can download all the material, so all the PDF copies of all my lessons. So to practice, practice and practice. Great. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching and listening. <music>